and then y'all want to say, <laughs> oh, one minute you're happy, one minute you're sad, one minute you're depressed, and the other minute you're feeling good. This is what I'm talking about. The day was going good, wasn't it? But then I get home, it's a whole nother world. I got <laughs> girl joy back with another banger a basil banger okay i'm on my lunch break oh lord i got 25 minutes because i wanted to wash my hands and before i started on my lunch so this is vlogmas this is my vlogmas okay during the week you gonna get work <laughs> i had to go to the store this morning to get my lunch and to get lunch for the girls so they will have something We'll buy a little bit of food this weekend, but I will be eating the salad. This is what I'm eating. And I wanna say thank you for everyone who made positive comments about, you know, somebody coming for me. I really don't think they were a troll, but you know, my life is different. Every day is different. It seems like I have to overcome another obstacle. It, that's just my life and I said it in other videos like things that happen to me People wouldn't believe the things I go to they would think it'd be fiction Anyway, let me pour this cuz y'all you know that bell be ringing so quick I can't even I can eat this whole bag of salad But I'm not gonna eat in front of y'all. I'm gonna start out. Okay, so today all the kids well most of them finish their exam so I'm like what am I gonna do with them because some are still taking the test and some aren't so I'm like what am I gonna do with these kids what, what am I gonna do so what we're doing right they we had a meeting for teacher of the year they want the kids to nominate teacher of the year and it won't be me <laughs> But the kids can nominate whoever they want. But some of these kids have been with teachers um, from last year. I saw a lot nominate teacher that they had in sixth grade. I teach seventh grade. Um, some of them was like, I can't think of anybody. I can't think of anybody. But, you know, so those whoever the kids feel or whatever. And then I had a few nominate me. And one boy, the, of course, the student said, you don't only teach you like me, Miss Bass. <laughs> of course, he said something really nice. Um, I don't even know where I put that stack. And his, and I did read his, you know, and I'll try to help edit some of the papers and stuff. So this, um, this one, that, and the ones who did nominate me said that, you know, she always has a smile on her face, even if she's mad. Like, I get my act together between, you know, if, if class upsets me, I will get my act together. Because it's not fair to bring negative energy um, onto uh, the kids, you know, from one class to another class. I, and I don't hold grudges. You know? Sorry, had a camera malfunction. And I don't hold grudges um, against any child or anything like that since, you know, I'm, I'm the negative one here, as people like to point out. I go through ups and downs, just like a human being. What it is, is just that you guys, I have to be inspired sometimes to vlog about certain things. If something is heavy on my heart, you guys are like my therapist. And I'll just say what's on my mind. Just like if I draw, sometimes I'm inspired to draw. Just like I just got up and wanted to start sketching out the back of my chair. That's still not finished. Or if the spirit hits me and I feel like running, that's what I'm going to do. So it'll hit me at different times. And if something is heavy on my heart, so you may see me sad, I'm human. You may see me happy, but I'm always going to break through being happy and with something positive. So somebody was like, well, um, 
one minute you're sad, the next minute, right. Sometimes I don't blo I don't vlog for days, so when I come on, I might be happy, and then a couple days later, then Clinton and then piss me off or something like that, then I'm vlogging about that. So it depends what I choose to get on the camera with. So sorry if I confuse some of y'all, but I'm not happy joy joy 24-7 close <laughs> but no I'm not I have my worries and stuff just like a lot of people do anyway this is what this boy said she puts the um she puts the most effort in teaching she decorates her room and adds a personal style to it and she always comes to class with energetic attitude compared to other teachers um who teaches from the book with no enthusiasm or energy and she has a drive for other things not just sitting at her desk waiting for a paycheck she has been a lot more than the average teacher that's why i think miss basil should be nominated for teacher of the year <laughs> i thought that was so sweet so so sweet and then i got so it is my vlog miss and then i got a gift i got a gift and i did write this boy i'm not going to share this letter so my goal is to write personalized Christmas cards for 170 students. That's what's in my head. So I have to see what they have at the dollar store. And I did write another little um, letter to this person who gave me this. And um, it was great. I was like, oh, so is it pencils? He was like, no. And I'm drinking this for lunch. This is probably all I should probably have for lunch but that's good 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 girlfriend that's good okay <laughs> so I'm trying to hurry I know I'm gonna be wolfing that salad down what they got me it was so sweet uh twisted peppermint uh hand soap twisted peppermint candle you guys know I'm into the candles now So they got the whole thing, the candle, the body lotion, and the shower gel. So I thought that was so sweet because at the other schools I've worked at, the kids didn't give gifts because we were the parents. They were at facilities. So this is actually my first time really getting a gift. And I did a vlog on a parent who gave me supplies for my classroom and it's the same parent. So I really appreciate it. This um, is my gift and it has really, really warmed my heart. And I know y'all don't want, I'm not gonna say what y'all want yet. Click off then, damn it. <laughs> so I was like, um, so after they did their teacher of the year nomination, I had the kids open their book to a story. And the name of this story is um, Mississippi Solo, right? And I talk, and you guys heard me talk about annotations and making personal connection. How do you connect with that passage or that sentence or that word? And this sums up, and we only got to the first parag first two paragraphs. And I can relate um, to what the story is about. And I got so excited, it just warms my heart and lets me know that I'm not crazy. Y'all may think I'm crazy. I probably am a little crazy, but this validates that I'm not that, that crazy. I might be a little crazy, but not that, that crazy. So he says, real quick, don't click on, just wait, okay? So he says, um, from Mississippi Solo, he says, too many marvelous days in a row and you begin to get used to it. If you have so many marvelous days in a row, you begin to get used to it. So it's like you get used to all the great, all the great, all the great. So when something bad happens, that, that will throw you for a loop, child. So that's what he's, that's how I'm connected with what he's saying. Um, to think that's the way, and you begin to think that's the way it's supposed to be. Too many good days or too many bad days, you need a break in a monotony of one to appreciate the other. Lord, just starting out the story, I connected with that so much because I, you guys don't know the half of what I've been through. I connected with that so much that I've experienced so many 
bad days and hardships. So when I go to the track on the weekends and I'm walking for an hour to two hours on the track and I don't feel like running and I'm listening to the birds, I feel the sun kissing my face, it just all those and I've written in my community tab about that experience is that I've been through so much hardship that I can appreciate the small little blessings that are bestowed upon me and I just connected with what he was saying and for him it's the Mississippi River and he uses great descriptive words I was like yes I can relate I can relate because you know even this little gift right here even this this will probably be the only gift I get for Christmas my kids don't get me gifts they don't ever have no money anyway so I never expect anything and this will probably be the only gift I get for Christmas <laughs> which is fine I, I don't expect anything I do have something else I do have something else but you know I'm the negative one right I'm the negative one. Anyway, let's erase that. Okay, and so he also says, I guess I'd had enough hard days to last me for a while, enough scary times to be able to appreciate the peaceful and um, easy glorious days. Oh, I can't go on because it's making me cry because I've been through so much that I appreciate just the little blessings. You know, I still have my moments or whatever that I do appreciate the small little gifts. I really do. The little, you know, all right, Joy. And then yeah, I had to um, borrow a few dollars um, from my friend. Um, I had some unexpected bills or whatever. So I had, I borrowed a few dollars um, from my friend well, a couple of friends that so I paid them back. You know, I got, you know, you can wait for a paycheck. I was like, no, when it comes to people, you got to pay people back, honey. And don't be acting like you got amnesia. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I got 14 minutes. <laughs> and don't be acting like you got amnesia. So, you know, I texted her. Just so you know, I texted her. What time this morning? I'm like, look, I want this off my plate, boo. I texted her. At 5 17 a.m. I said morning is your um I said is this your cash app I was trying to look it up I said or oh, do you want me to send the money back to the person who sent me because somebody owed her money and she just told the person to give it to me <laughs> and then I was like do you want me to send it back and she says good morning please keep it Merry Christmas <sighs> and this girl um, is my first friend I had in Texas. I traveled here with no friends, no family. And I was pregnant with Sydney. And, um, cause I was going to transfer companies, but it didn't work out. She helped me. I didn't know her. My boss in New York was like, oh, she just moved to Texas from Chicago. Maybe she can help you, you know, figure things out. And I met with her, didn't know what she looked like. We met up, we became friends instantly. She helped me pick out my first house and helped me pick because it was built from the ground. Trust me, I've been through a lot, y'all. A lot. Y'all wouldn't believe the stuff that has happened to me in my lifetime. I could be a lifetime movie, y'all. They could make a lifetime movie. I swear to God. I know somebody doesn't like when I say that. But that's what I say. Hey, just don't think too hard about every little thing I say. But anyway, um, that was another blessing, another gift. I was like, oh, I got to pay all these people back. I don't play. I don't play when it comes to paying people back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, and I haven't said thank you yet. So, but I want to say thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for that. If you watch, she she chimes into the vlogs here and there. So I think that was just such a beautiful blessing. So this, today, so far, just getting, you know, not all the kids nominated me for Teacher of the Year. It, it I, I'm new kid on the block. But even just reading some of their stuff has been uplifting the little gift that I got from my student that's uplifting being able to run to the store at 5 30 this morning to get my kids lunch that they can take for lunch and they love salad so they got they got one of these too um I mean they were just all small blessings that I'm so grateful for them but you know I'm negative I'm negative right no I just tell you what's going on my day 
I'm only at third period. I got fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh period to go. It get turned completely around. I may come back later and be like, do you know? That's the process of my day. Even when I was married, it would be, okay, I was home with all three kids. They're all 18 months apart. So it was like I almost had triplets. And my husband at the time didn't understand why the house was messy at that point in time because he worked. So one day he was home, he saw the craziness. No, there would be breakfast, there'd be cleanup breakfast, there'd be um, arts and crafts. I was one of those parents that were doing stuff all day. I wore sneakers, I ran on the treadmill every day. I took 20 minutes out for myself. I don't care, y'all could, could do whatever. There's a story about that one too. And then, um, uh, then we have lunch, then clean up lunch. So it was like a roller coaster of my entire day. There was time out corner. There was, okay, now we gotta clean this up. Then we go to the park, then we doing this. Yes, the process of a day is not the same all day. My life is not the same every day. I go through stuff, just like you go through stuff, but I just decide to put mine on YouTube. So I may not vlog for a couple of days. I may be, my last vlog could be happy. Then the next time, I feel inspired to vlog about something that has really bothered me. So that's what you guys get. You get a little bit of everything. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I just wanted to share those little blessings. Bobby has a game. <laughs> she has a game, so I'll be going to that. So when I got the little salad this morning, I made sure I got a little cash back. <laughs> so I knew I'll be able to um, go to her game. So, um, yeah, so maybe, you know, I could do uh, some little Christmas little activities um, this weekend, but I, I just didn't have it. I didn't have that. All right. I got nine minutes, y'all. I'm going to turn you off. And I'm going to smile that I found that story that I connect with. And I told the kids, my background experience is gonna be different from yours, so you're not gonna see or have that same connection as I do. And he talks about the beauty of the river, the changing of the color of the river. It's beautiful. I, I will share more, but this is not the education channel. It's just beautiful. Cause, and then I was thinking, we haven't finished. I was like, I wonder, what this man, what has this man, and this is a memoir, so it's just a small part of his life that he's choosing to write about. Not an autobiography, an autobiography, you write about your whole life. A memoir is just a small moment in life. And then I was like, what has this man been through that he can really now tune in and appreciate those small gifts? And that's where I am in my life. I'm tuning in, it's like I'm woke. I'm finally woke and I can tune in and appreciate the little, little things. Mm -hmm. That's why I love it when I go to the track and I'm the only one there. It's like the birds are singing to me. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. I want to vlog now because I have visitors at the end of the day and I don't really like to vlog when they're in my class. But I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll try to come back a little later, vlog a little bit of Bobby's game. Oh, and on her project, she got 5.5. So 5.5, she got 105 or something like that. She got over 100 mm -hmm. for her little catapult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she's really worried about college. She's like, Mom, I'm not gonna get in any of my goal colleges, my reach colleges. I didn't know. Just for University of Texas at Austin, I graduated from there. But to get into that school now, you have to be the top 6% of your class. Top 6%. Bobby is top 14%. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Mom, I'm not going to get anywhere. I'm not going to get him. I said, we'll worry about it later, Bobby. I said, you are. Bobby's GPA is 4.4. .4. She said they don't care about your GPA. They care about your percentage, your rank in the school. 
Mm-hmm. Her school is no joke. I see the work she comes home with. I look, I can't even help her. Mm-hmm. Look. I know my lane, honey. I will stick with my sixth and seventh grade. <laughs> I know my lane. Yeah, her, her teacher, they don't play. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Let me get some of this, more of this salad. I gotta eat like a mad woman now. Close out. What else is this day going to bring? Just filled with little blessings, little gifts. And the other thing I love, I really starting to love a lot now, is having those. It's it's not a great connection with every student, but it's having those little mini conversations with every student that walks through the door. And one little girl, I don't know what she is. I don't, she could be black. I I don't know what she is. Her hair is about down to here. She goes to the salon every week. So I saw her today, Friday. So you guys will get this Saturday. I said, you going to the salon this weekend? I said, all right, spoiled girl. And she just smiled. She didn't talk very much, but ooh, that hair is pretty. Mm -mm -mm. Every week. Mm-hmm. Another boy. He just reminds me of a... um. A successful baseball player. I don't know. He just every time I see him, very clean cut, but had you know looked like a baseball player. And he messed up his finger, had surgery on his finger, and I shake everybody's hand. I was like, "Oh, is it okay to shake your hand?" He was like, "Yeah." I said, "You back to one hundred percent or 90? He said, "No, one hundred. I said, "Good," because next week I'm gonna be squeezing it. <laughs> yeah. So I just I like I like. The little mini conversations I have with 170 kids every day and done with the smile. But you know, I'm the negative one. Baby. It's 520. I have to get out of here. I am so tired. I stood the entire day today. My legs ache. Now you just want to go home. Now I have to go to Bobby's basketball game. I'm hungry. I'm going to try to make the other half, eat the other half of my salad as I drive. This is what I'm eating, y'all. <laughs> These are the cheesy ones, not the bacon cheddar. It's bacon cheddar. Not the spicy ones. I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Even with my friends, I would never go out on Fridays because, anyway, it was a good day. They were a little chatty today. I think they were all excited for the weekend. And um, I had all of them do the Teacher of the Year nominations. I would say it was pretty even across the board. I saw all types of names. I saw all types of names, so it wasn't like one teacher dominated. Um, it was across the board. So, um, but overall, uh, mine, uh, the ones I, of course, I read those. All right. The ones that I read for me, they, they kind of all said the same thing, that I'm funny, I'm the funniest teacher, I have an awesome classroom. Um, they all wrote wonderful things. I mean, it kind of all was the same thing. One girl was like, I obviously chose Miss Basil, hands down. It's not even a competition. <laughs> um, and she talked about that she's been through so much, but she always has a smile on her face. All of them said about the smile, all of them said about how funny and how I go above and beyond for them. One girl mentioned that she has this um, handshake. One girl just started here. She's been here maybe a week, maybe. 
and she even nominated me. I think she nominated me in another teacher. She said, well, for one, her room is freaking awesome, and she always plays soothing classical music while we work. She is super chill, and um, she, re she tolerates zero unnecessary things. We have handshakes with each, she has handshakes with each student, and it's different. She's super pretty with her hair and all, and always shows up to class with a smile on her face. That's why she should be nominated. <laughs> like I said, no matter what I'm going through in my life, I would never take it out um, on a child. Mm, another one, this is a boy. She puts the most effort in teaching. She decorates her room to add a personal style to it. And she always comes to school with an energetic attitude compared to other teachers, blah, blah, blah. So I thought that was nice. And one girl, she's she makes A's on everything. All of them said, but all of them said about the same. I, I thought I took it out. And this girl is sweet. She always has made Rila fun. She is an amazing teacher in person. I've never enjoyed Rila at all. Rila is English, reading and English language arts. They call it Rila here. I've never enjoyed Rila at all. She makes it fun and never lets any of her students down and she always has a bright smile on her face every morning. She is amazing. Aww, so they were so sweet. I mean, there were a few others. What? That sweet girl. So they all said about the same thing and it just, you know, I can go into my weekend and, you know, be happy with these small gifts and these kind words that these kids have said. But like I said, no one teacher from the forms, I have 170 of them, no one teacher dominated. Like it was all Mr. This and all Mr. So it was like even. And this girl, she's so bright. Um, I don't really get the beginning of it. She's She threw in a hook line. I don't get the connection with the hook line. But she says, Miss um, Basil will make an excellent teacher of the year. For example, she's been through things some of us can't even picture. And she somehow manages to be joyful and motivational. She has brought an entire alternative seating arrangement just so students can have fun and learn the way that's best for them and reach their learning potential. Miss Basil has made so many sacrifices for her kids, students, and herself. I think she finally deserves some recognition. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So I will put these in the bag and turn them in. I mean, there were there were a few others. Oh, she's sweet. Miss Basil's a strong woman, the strongest I've seen and she has gone through a lot. She is supportive to her students and always there for them. She is beautiful, kind, caring, loyal, and understanding and has a big imagination. Thank you for being the greatest teacher in the world. Mm, she's so sweet. They're all sweet. Even when they nominated other teachers, it's just sweet to see how different teachers touch the lives and hearts of different students. So, oh, they want this in alphabet ties. Ooh, I know how I'll get to do it. I know exactly which group that will alphabetize this. Hmm, I got the group. I got the group on Monday. Oh, let me make my salad because I'm going to be eating that and driving, y'all. I'm, I'm hungry. And I probably I probably would have put the salad together earlier, but I had the little boy in here. I don't, I don't like to eat in front of kids. So my stomach is growling because, you know, I didn't talk to y'all to death, so I didn't really get a chance to eat, eat. So I'll be finishing the salad. Sorry for the noise. I'll be finishing my salad. I'm pouring the whole thing up in this bag. So I hope you guys are doing well and have been blessed with small little blessings today. I know I was, so it was a good day. I can't complain. Oh, God, no. I got to pay. I got to pay a bill. Oh God, I gotta pay bill y'all before I hit the road. All right, see y'all later. I just walked in the door. It is 7.54. I've been trying to get home from school since I don't know what time I left. 
the traffic was so bad so almost two hours to get home so, 754 So of course I miss Bobby's game. I just walked in the door. Now I'm about to walk back out the door to go pick her up. I had to pee so bad. I couldn't drive another mile. And this is when I tell y'all I'm tired. And then I come home and the kitchen is a mess. Clint is not here. Bobby's not here. Sydney is here. Boom! Bust in her room. So you been home and you couldn't clean the kitchen. I got up early yesterday and I got up early today. And drove to Walmart to make sure you had something for breakfast and make sure you had something to pack for lunch. At 5.30 in the morning. But I come home and the kitchen is a mess. And then y'all want to say, oh, one minute you're happy, one minute you're sad, one minute you're depressed, and the other minute you're feeling good. This is what I'm talking about. The day was going good, wasn't it? But then I get home, it's a whole nother world I got to deal with. So my happiness then went from here, then went down there. Call me bipolar, call it whatever y'all want. But that would make the tiredest person on the planet a little irritated. Don't you think? So yes, sometimes I'm happy and sometimes I'm not. I'm tired, my feet hurt, my legs are sore, and my legs don't get sore. I just want to lay down. And this is when I say sometimes I just don't have the energy i just come to my room and lock my door and my kids know if the door is locked they really don't come in but if it's not locked that's a whole nother story jeez you would think if i'm in a closet that means i don't want to be bothered but we'll get around to that but this this, this is my life it's never just woo, even kill on like a little plane a little plateau no it's not it's woo, 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 woo. my life I'm tired. Now, I'm about to go back downstairs. Get back in the car and go get Bobby. This is about a 15, 20 minute drive. Oh dear God, if there's traffic. So her game should be about over. She hasn't texted me. I done missed the poor girl's game. Even when it got cash back when I went to go get them lunch and breakfast stuff this morning. Oh, but maybe I should be fake. Oh, life is great. House is neat and clean. No, it's not. Eight o'clock. I've been awake since 4.20 a.m. I kind of put my little time back from 4.30. Then I went to 4.12. Now I just said 4.20. I'm tired. Once again, and I already said this. This is why I say sometimes I don't have the energy to fuss with no kids. But before I leave, I'm going to be telling Cindy, you better take your tail downstairs and do something with the kitchen. Then I asked Clinton to go to the post office. Don't hear from him. He, I don't know where he was yesterday. He texted me. Um, I don't know what time he texted me. Oh, went to the post office. I don't even believe it. Went to the post office. The line was around the corner. There was no parking spots. But how about your friend drop you off, do a couple of loops around the block, and then pick you back up? Because I can't make it to the post office during the week. You see how long it takes me to get home. Let me go get this girl. I feel like my ankle's swollen today. A little bit is not as bad. I'm tired. I just want to lay down. Maybe even throw in a movie. 
not throwing a movie, watch Netflix because I'm not getting no bread box. Last time I got bread box, I couldn't find a DVD. It was at the bottom of a basket when we were still moving in, couldn't find it. It slipped and, you know, I guess it slipped off my bed and fell into the little basket I had. Couldn't find it. That's $25. So now I own a DVD. I still don't even think I watched it. Here it is. Redbox. Redbox. I don't even think I watched it. Hustle. Um, maybe I finally watch it. I don't pay $25 for it. $25 I didn't have. All right. Let me just go and wait for this girl. I hope th I hope they did well. I'm tired, y'all. <sighs> All right, I'll see you and keep complaining. I think I hear her downstairs. Let me listen at the door, cause then I won't have to complain about it on my way out the door. Hold on, calm down. Is that Bobby? Um, yeah, I missed that game. It took me two hours to get home from, from school. Yes, it does. And then I come home to a messy kitchen. She's like, Mom, 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 I'm working on it right now. I shouldn't even have to say anything. All the little stuff I didn't did for you the past couple of days. Eight o'clock, eight o three. I guess I go sit there and wait, y'all. Lord Jesus, I better not drink nothing because my little bladder is getting smaller and smaller. It seems like the older I get, mm, work the same. All right, guys. I don't know. I'll probably close this video out. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm done. Missed the poor girl's game. And she texted me in the, during the day, too. She was like, you coming to my game, right? So, of course, I feel bad. I just want to get you to bed. That's what I want to do. Just go to bed. And then I had to go to the bathroom so bad that I'm, I'm buckling my pants on the way in the house because I was like freaked out. I don't have no time to be looking and looking for a key and making sure I get the right key in and this and that. So I had to run through the garage. I had to button and go through the garage. And I unbuckled my pants and stuff. Just the belt. Pants falling down. Like I told y'all, with some of my pants, if I don't have a belt, they just fall right down. Hello, you ready? Yeah, are you here? No. I'm where, pa where passing you? Knox. How was you? How was your game? All right. See you in a little bit. So I'm driving. She calls, Bobby calls back again while I'm in the car. Cause you know I was by a certain area and not the house. She was like, oh well uh, I'll get a ride. Maybe you should have gotten a ride. Well, no, she expected me to be there, so so I guess she didn't want to wait the extra 15 minutes. Oh God. So I had to make a U-turn. I came back home, y'all. I'm gonna close this video out now. Sydney's still downstairs cleaning the kitchen. A hot mess. So, 
least I don't have to fuss about that too long. But you see how little it's how things can set you off, set me off. You work all day, do all these little extra things here and there, and then come home to this. It is my pet peeve. So anyway, I'm glad I didn't have to fuss about that. So I just want to lay down. That's what I want to do. You know, I just want to get undressed, lay down. So give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, <laughs> subscribe. Uh, and I hope you're having a blessed day. Thank you for still sticking in there with me, hanging in there with me uh, for vlogmas and, you know, taking the time to watch the videos or speed through the videos or whatever. I do appreciate it. And so thank you. All right, guys, until next time. Later. I'm tired. I just want to go night-night. <laughs>